Alright, hey guys, today we're looking at the Tetra Whisper Advanced power filter. As you can see, right here, rated for 30 to 60 gallons. I'm going to show you what comes in the box with it, then I'm going to show you me setting it up, and we'll show you how it works, and hopefully it'll live up to this Whisper name. Alright, so I know you look upside down right now, but we're going to start by opening that up. And there we go, we have our Advanced Whisper filter. Right here we have the lid, obviously a lid, probably seen that before. Set that to the side. Then we have our main filter housing. Once again, we'll set that to the side. And last but not least, our impeller and intake tube is down there. So we have our intake tube over here, our filter right there, two cartridges and two biofoams. I'm going to try to take as much media from my old filter and put it into this filter as I can. Instead of using the activated carbon that comes in with this filter, because I am going to be replacing the old filter with a new filter, I'm going to be running some of this in the filter cartridges that will help remove any ammonia that builds up, even though I'm going to be moving the good bacteria stuff over into the new filter by moving the biomedia and as much media as I can into the new one. I'm going to dump out the carbon and put this in just to be safe and that's pretty much it let's get the old filter off i'll show you the new filter when it's hung on the tank okay so we have a whole bunch of old biomedia over here which i'm going to try to fit in the old filter or the new filter sorry that came from the old filter these two cartridges i really don't like using cartridges but this is what it came with at first these both have that api ammo carb in them this one has a lot more than this one. Oh well um i'm gonna go rinse these under tap water because like they left my hands all black and i don't want that in my aquarium and then we'll put some of the old media in the new filter and we'll show you it all set up. All right guys, so here's the new filter. Maybe you can see back there, maybe you can't, but there's some old bio media back there in the aquarium. And I also have the two bio plates that were in my old filter and they're gonna sit there inside the aquarium for like two weeks or so, just to make sure the good bacteria is brought over. As you can see, the tank's pretty cloudy. That's because I just washed those bio plates around. They kind of knocked a whole bunch of junk into the tank. I'm going to put these bio fiber thingies in that came with the new filter. Then we're gonna start up the new filter and hope and pray that it's quiet. All right, so before we turn it on, we obviously need to look at the intake pipes. Here it is. We have actually a flow controller right here at the top, which actually controls the flow. The flow. That's really cool. And then we also have some pieces to extend this, which I'm going to extend it to as long as it can go by taking the strainer off, popping the extension tubes on like so, and then putting the strainer on the end. This should reach almost to the very bottom of this tank. So I'm actually going to take out a little bit of section right here. And that looks like it'll be pretty good. Now what we're going to do is put the intake pipe in and prime up the filter. All right, the filter's filled up. Now I'm just going to plug it in. Hopefully this will be quiet when it's plugged in and running. All right, priming. And it's running. And if you can hear, it sure as heck ain't quiet. This is actually extremely loud. Super loud. Don't know what that flow thing's supposed to do, but yeah, I guess this is my new filter. Probably gonna send them an email or call them back because this thing sounds like a train. I don't know if you can get a good sound on it. Let me move the mic closer. Okay, move the mic closer as you can see. And it is not quiet at all. It's in fact probably louder than the old filter. So, super loud, That's it is what it is. Probably not gonna keep this filter, but yeah. That's it for this video. All right, so now that you've seen me set up the filter and take it out of the box, I'm here to give you my final verdict. As you can see, my old filter is back on the tank and that's really not a good sign for the Tetra. So this filter is really great on paper. It looks good, it does good gallons per hour and it seems like it can hold a lot of media but the fact of the matter is with the fancy flow control this thing has and these fancy intake tubes and this 
advanced filter. It holds half the media my Aquatech filter holds, and it's twice as loud. You probably heard it in the last clip. This filter sounds like somebody's vacuuming our office from the other room, and it's just the aquarium. That's insane. I've had filters that you can't even hear when you're right next to them, and to have a filter this loud was crazy. I thought my Aquatech was loud until I heard this thing. And my Aquatech not only holds way more media, as I said, it's also puts out more flow. I believe that's 330 gallons per hour, and this one's only 300. So, actually, this one might be 332. I really don't know. But my final verdict, this is going back in the box. I will not be sending back my Aquatech. I'm actually going to send back this filter instead because it's horrible in my needs. If you have an aquarium that's outside in your garage, in somewhere where you don't care about noise, this is a great filter for the price. But for the extra few dollars, I'd get the Aquatech. Or if you have some more money to spend, get an Aqua Clear filter or a canister filter. So that's it for this video. I do not recommend this Tetra filter as of now. And that's pretty much it. If you want to see the video about the Aquatech filter, you can click the I card in the top or the link will be down in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.